Every agent can be broken down into three basic steps. The agent is activated by an input. It does some work and then it produces an output. You're probably wondering what exactly does input, work, and output look like in practice? Let's drill in. Inside that workbox, there are a few critical pieces. First, the AI model. This is your agent's brain. It's what takes the input and figures out what to do with it. And you can choose from the same models that power chatbots like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. But a brain without knowledge is limited. And the thing about AI models is that they're trained on past data. They wouldn't be able to answer questions about your most up-to-date specific use case, like a website or a product catalog. So agents use something called a knowledge base, where you can add documents, URLs, or really any kind of information that the AI model can reference in the conversation. Then there are tools. These give agents hands and let them reach into the real world. This is where you can send an email, get a piece of information from a spreadsheet, or even trigger another agent in another app. And finally, the instructions. Think of this as the glue, the wires connecting every one of these parts together. A good base set of instructions will give the agent two things, a personality and an idea of how to manage the user input. But there's one more thing an AI agent needs to be effective. Subscribe and watch the full video to find out.